to draw a logarithmic spiral by hand, you just need three things. A piece of paper, a locking protractor, and a pencil. Set the protractor at the angle that you want. Here I'm showing five degrees, which is a nice, reasonably tight spiral that I like a lot for scroll work and blacksmithing. Make a little pencil mark that's going to be the center of your spiral. Here I'm doing this on a large scale so you can see the procedure. The great thing about a logarithmic spiral is that the angle from the center point to the curve is always exactly the same. You want the blade of the protractor on the center mark, and you're going to draw the first line with the stock of the protractor. Now, you always want the blade resting against the center point, and you want to draw the next angle from the point where the first angle stops. So, blade on the center point, draw, blade on the center point, draw. Now the thing about this is that the smaller the interval you're drawing on the angle, the better your spiral is going to look. So I draw a little mark on the stock of the protractor, about a quarter inch in this case. And you want to start about the same distance from the center point and just do the same procedure going out. I sped this up and skipped over the little bit because my hands were covering the, uh, the early part. But you can see it's nice and tight and the smaller the interval is, the closer to the curve it's going to be. If you remember from calculus, this is basically the same as uh, uh, integrating a curve or a function or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Anyway, uh, you just keep putting the blade on the center point, marking the next angle. Blade on the center point, marking the next angle. Um, and the angle that you've set on your protractor is going to change how tight or open the, um, the spiral is. This, as I said, is five degrees. The uh, classic Fibonacci spiral, which is based on the sequence of, um, of squares from the Fibonacci sequence, dimensions of the Fibonacci sequence, uh, I believe is about a 17 degree angle. So if that's what you're aiming for, you know, go for it. The thing that I really like about this method, as opposed to using a compass to draw an expanding series of quarter circles, is that this really is much closer to a true logarithmic spiral, that you're not going from a tangent of a circle to the tangent of a larger circle to the tangent of a larger circle. You're constantly keeping that same angle between the curve of the spiral and the line to the center point of the spiral. So it's a lot smoother, it's a lot more regular, and I think it looks a whole lot better.